You're listening to the EYT Media Network. And good evening and welcome to Clarion Limestone High School tonight. It is the Gatesman Auto Body District 9 Volleyball Semifinal. As the Clarion Limestone Lady Lions get set to take on the defending District 9 champion Oswego Valley Green Wave. Mike Kalinowski along with Brad English. We've got uh, Chase Steinman here as well tonight. Got the whole crew ready to uh, come at you. And should be a good one here tonight. Oswego Valley knocked off Clarion three sets to none to get to this semifinal for Clarion Limestone. They played Port Allegheny, and Port Allegheny was pesky, and Clarion Limestone ended up winning in a 3-1 to one, uh, match uh, in the last uh, uh, match on, uh, what was that, last week on Thursday. Is it Tuesday? Yeah. Tuesday. There we go. Brett's got to keep me honest over here. So uh, we get set here for this one tonight, and uh, when we look at starting lineups uh, for these teams, um, not a whole lot has changed for Clarion Limestone. We'll have Smith, Nab Greeley, uh, Beggs, Dunn, Wyatt, Burke, and uh, Greeley for Clarion Limestone. We'll see mail come at times and serve the ball as well. We've seen that over the last few matches. And you also hear starting lineups for Oswego Valley. It's Sophia, Kamita, Eva West, uh, Pralyn Perkins, Olivia Cook, Lacey, Miller, Geiger, and uh, K- uh, Lakin, Enti. Uh, The starters for Oswego Valley. Um, So that's where we're at. So we're getting set here for the start. And both teams now are on there getting their warm-ups going on. And I'll tell you what, you were were here last time, uh, Brad, when uh, that match with uh, Port Allegheny. And that was one where Clarion Limestone, when they lost that one set, boy, they just weren't, they really weren't uh, up to par like we've seen Clarion Limestone. A lot of mistakes, but they got everything back together in order to come back with the win. Yeah, it looked a little rough there on that one. So we'll see if they can put a good, put together a good match tonight and see how this Oswego Valley team does against this pretty good CL team. It is uh, Halloween, and they're having like a costume thing tonight for the crowd as they come in. A lot of folks dressed up like a lot of different things. There was one person dressed up like Jake Bauer. I was shocked. I was like, that should win the contest. I would say. At least the ugliest uh, contest, right, for ugliest costume. But... No, the crowd has really come in, taking that to heart here on Halloween. And, you know, a lot of folks are going to be wondering why a lot of porch lights are out uh, with uh, no candy going out because they're all here. It's really starting to fill in here really, really well at Clarion Limestone. We'll take a quick time out. We're going to come back out here, and we'll talk more about the match here tonight and what goes on after this one. So we will take that break. And you are watching Gatesman's Auto Body District 9 Volleyball. <laughs> Excuse me. It's all right here on Explore Clarion at D9Sports.com. He's on the 30, he's on the 20, he's on the 10, it's a touchdown! There's nothing like football, the lights, the cheers of the crowd, and getting a chance to see our local athletes and kids give it all they've got. Come to a game, support our local schools. Clarion County Community Bank, a better way to bank. Member FDIC. Visit us online at clarionbank.com. Locally owned and operated, Hager Paving of Strattonville provides a range of services. Hot mix asphalt, cold patch asphalt, tar and chipping, and seal coating. Hager Paving's reputation in business is based on customer service, referrals, and your satisfaction. Serving residential, commercial, industrial, and local municipalities throughout western Pennsylvania. Exceptional service, exceptional quality. That's Hager Paving of Strattonville. Call 814-764-5080. That's 814-764-5080 for Hager Paving. It's always been well known in the community as a great local employer. Very family oriented company. Brookville has a really great benefits plan here. We're pretty diverse in what we do from mining to streetcars to locomotives. We're helping the infrastructure of the country. Medical insurance, dental, vision, competitive wages, paid time off. It's an opportunity, it's something that you can enjoy doing. 
and you can apply right through our website. You're locked on to the EYT Media Network. There you go, Bonnie Wolbert. The game manager here tonight at Clarion Limestone for the District 9. <clears throat> and we're going to hear her national anthem, too, and she does a fantastic job at that. Of course, a long time up at North Clarion High School, and so we'll have Bonnie coming up there with that. Great to see her as always. And got a lot coming your way too. Want to remind you coming up on Friday night here on the EYT Media Network. Uh, we will have uh, high school football coming your way. We'll be at Brockway High School as Union AC Valley takes on Brockway in the opening round of the District 9 single-A football playoffs. That'll be coming to you on Friday night. But the matter at hand tonight, it's Gatesman's Auto Body. Girls volleyball. It's the semifinal here in District 9 in single-A as Clarion Limestone. Gets set to take on the Green Wave of Oswego Valley. The Green Wave, of course, last year's District 9 champion as they look to continue and repeat. Clarion Limestone would like to certainly do something about that. In the other semifinal tonight, it's Elk County Catholic and Countersport. That match going on at Elk County Catholic. We'll see if we can get updates as we go through this evening on that match coming up there. So a lot of sports coming your way. And also, we do want to thank all the folks, too. Last night, we had the Commissioner's Forum on the EYT Media Network. I know some of you guys are working that. And uh, really well received. I know it's always great to hear from those candidates. And, uh, of course, the elections are coming up um, in the uh, next week. And so it's coming up pretty fast. Uh, tomorrow night, uh, we'll have a link on EYT for the big meeting with a Union, AC Valley, and Keystone as they talk about a merger with their athletics and possibly some other things as well. And, you know... We've seen how well a lot of those mergers have worked at the other schools, and now with Union AC Valley merged up and throwing Keystone in the mix. Brett, you played the sports at Keystone, and you really think it might have helped out things when you were a, a kid over at Keystone years ago. Yeah, for sure. I think um, when I was playing sports, some of those teams started to dwindle as the years went on, and I think this merger might be a big thing for all the three schools in the end coming in the future so it certainly and we'll see what happens as they make that discussion there's coach brian trout of clarion limestone you see him as he just turns his back to us as soon as i announce him <laughs> now it is his uh, wife and his beautiful children are up here um, and his folks and all that stuff as they they're right sitting with us and they're always listening making sure we're saying good things yeah so if you ever get that evil eye you know it's time to back off uh, but, no, uh, it's great seeing them. And, and just uh, what this Clarion Limestone team has been able to do this year, um, you know, as he told me, you know, a lot of these girls have been playing year-round, playing club volleyball and things like that. They were able to knock off Clarion on a couple of occasions this year, one in the regular season and then one in the Keystone Shortway Conference Championship game, that inaugural game. That was just a fantastic match. It went five sets. and Well, that could have went either way. But, uh, you know, you could tell just that, drive that this uh, Clarion Limestone team has in holding out to win that match. Yeah. 18-0 in the regular season yeah. and then undefeated so far in the postseason. So, so far. Well, we're going to have uh, team introductions. We'll have the anthem, all that. We're going to go down momentarily to the man wearing number 12 down there. Today he is Terry Bradshaw, a.k.a. Smoking Brad Fraser, the athletic director here at Clarion Limestone. And we'll listen to Brad as he will do the pregame introductions here. We'll have the anthem and the starting lineups as well. The officiating crew is all going to get into position here as they come over by the crowd. No one's booed yet. I like that. Yeah, that's a good thing. <laughs> and, of course, they have the regular officials all around the court here for this. And now we're going to send it down here to the man, the myth, and the legend here at Clarion Limestone. It is Brad Frazier on the microphone. Good evening, sports fans. On behalf of District 9 and Clarion Limestone High School, we welcome you to tonight's competition. Tonight's contest is a, is a semifinal single-A game. 
The winner of tonight's game will play this Thursday night at a site to be determined for the title of the District 9 champion. Your visiting team tonight on the scoreboard is Oswego Valley. Your home team tonight is Clarion Limestone. Your paid or complimentary admission to this event entitles you to enjoy an exhibition of skills developed by these student athletes. Please give them your positive encouragement. Booing, taunting, or intimidating the officials and or the opponents is unfriendly and unacceptable. In the crowd, no signs, pom-poms, or noisemakers. They are not permitted. Please keep off the court at all times. Your officials for the, tonight's contest are Ms. Kayla Gold, Ms. Joyce Wrights, Mr. Matt Darr, and Mrs. Bobby Freeman. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, I ask that you please rise for the singing of our national anthem by Miss Bonnie Wolbert. Gentlemen, please remove your hats. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets wrecked there the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land and of the free and the home of the Great job, as always, Bonnie. And now, let's meet the starting lineup. First for the visiting Oswego Green Waves. The Green Waves are coached by head coach Emily Wolf Solinger and assistant coach Naomi Cook. We have a senior, number seven, Olivia Cook. <laughs> senior, number five, Praylin Perkins. <laughs> senior, number 15, Lacey Miller Geiger. <laughs> Junior, number one, McKenna Manning. Junior, number three, Eva West. Junior, number 20, Lakin Enti. Junior, Libero, Sophia Comenda. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the starting lineup for your Clarion Limestone Lady Lions. Lady Lions are coached by head coach Ryan Trout, assisted by Becca Doherty. Freshman, number 26, Hannah Beggs. Sophomore, number one, Kaylee Smith. Junior, number 27, Maddie Greeley. Junior, number 28, Jenna Dunn. Senior, number 30, Alyssa Wyatt. Senior, number 35, Ansley Burke. Senior, number 10, Libero, Abby Knapp Greeley. There you go. There's the introduction. Smoking Brad Fraser down there taking care of the introductions here tonight. Mike Kalinowski here along with Brad English and Jay Steinman here on the broadcast tonight here from Clarion Limestone High School. And we're just about set to get underway. Look at the final instructions from coaches. And here we go in this Gatesman's Auto Body District 9 semifinal. As we said, the other one, Countersport and L County Catholic. 
doing battle over at Elk County Catholic High School. And, of course, the winner at a site to be determined coming up on Thursday. And we have every intention of broadcasting these Lady Lions on Thursday. But we will see. I'll tell you what, Oswego Valley is tough. Knocking off Clarion three sets to none last week. Here we go <clears throat> with the handshake. And we're almost set. Good crowd on hand. There are actually a lot more. There's even more people than were here the other night. Got some new fans right beside us here this evening. They're going to keep us in check. Clarion Limestone. Ready as Nab Greeley will substitute in to get things started. I believe the way it looks, Clary Limestone may have the serve. But I've been wrong before. Not often. How about that CL team? They're so young. Yeah. So young. Yeah, you look across there, they just have a couple of uh, three seniors. Uh, well, they got five seniors, but, boy, a lot of the starters and people that play quite a bit, sophomores, and, of course, with Hannah Beggs just being a ninth grader, Greeley a junior, Donna Jr. So here we go, getting ready to serve, and I said I was wrong. So, hey, there we go. It is uh, Lacey Miller-Geiger. Miller-Geiger serving here for the Green Wave. Of Oswego Valley, and we're underway, and the first serve goes long, and Clarion Limestone gets point number one. Set number one here from Clarion Limestone. And we are certainly glad you could be along with us here tonight. Served by Dunn. Dug out. Comes up front. Big swing. That was Zenti on the attack on the other side. There's Banks dumping it in, getting the kill for Clarion Limestone, and it's 2 nothing. So quickly, Clary and Limestone putting the points up here. Serving will be done again. Served by Dunn. Dug out from the back line by Cook. In the middle, big swing, and in there for the kill that time. That was Manning in the middle. Getting the kill for the Green Wave, 2-1. to one. Now set the serve is Praylin Perkins. Begs with the dig out, and how about the slam down by Eva West? We're tied at two, getting the kill on the left side. So 2-2, two -two, we're all tied up here at Clarion Limestone. Perkins is serving. Dug out by Dunn, it goes over the net. That was West. And they're going to get called here. Four in to the net. Clarion Limestone called into the net, so the point goes here to the Green Wave, three to two. Perkins serving. Nap Greeley off the ceiling, and how about a 4-2 lead now for the Oswego Valley Green Wave? How about that serve? Fantastic. You watch it, it comes right over the net, this wants to die. Here's Perkins again. Nice serve. Boy, look at that movement. You're all right. Ball's going to be set up, and Beggs is going to put it over the net that time. That's West. And they're going to call Oswego Valley this time into the net. 4-3. Serving here is Wyant. Dug by Cook. Alive and sliding under on that line. That was a great try by Eva West to keep that play alive, but slid underneath the net that time. Just a little bit too far there. Yep. Here's Wyant again, 4 forward tied. Dug out by West. Big swing and the kill. How about that? On this left side, that was West with the kill. 5-4.
Serving now is Manning. One point lead here for Oswego Valley. Manning with the serve. Dug out by Beggs. Smith is going to set it up. Sets it over the net that time. Ball intercepted by Miller. And then the big swing and the kill. On that right side over there, that was Enti. 6-4. So Oswego has been able to get a couple point lead on Clarion Limestone. The Lions started off with a two point lead early. Here's the serve by, oh, that was uh, Enti, or excuse me, that was not Enti, that was Manning. She'll get the ace here. 7-4, Oswego Valley up by three. That was a double hit there. Yep. Here's Manning serving. Beggs tried to dig it, but you can see, too, that ball has a lot of movement on it, too. And Beggs, see how she hit it kind of oddly, 8-4. Coach Trout's going to use a timeout here, and we'll kind of keep it right here for this uh, moment. And, again, want to let you know, Friday night, uh, well, Thursday, we could be back on the air here uh, with a Clary Limestone win in that semi or the championship match for District 9 volleyball. We'll let you know. And on Friday night, we're up at uh, Brockway. You ever been to Brockway? I have. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that nice stadium. Place. Yeah, you'll, you'll like that, too. It's great to broadcast out of two, and we'll be up there. Union AC Valley goes up to take on Brockway to take on the Rovers. So we'll have that on Friday night. Yeah, I've actually played and broadcasted there yeah. before. So cool. it's a nice facility they have away from the school. Oh, it's super, super nice, and they have all kinds of ball fields down there, basketball courts, you name it, it's down there. I think they have, a, like, a roller skating ice, like, not a hockey rink, but yep. a roller rink. Yep, and I know there are plans they were talking about putting some ice in, too. Really? Yeah. That's so. awesome. I don't know if it's just outside ice, but we'll see. Beautiful, be really place. Cool. Beautiful place down there. Sure is. Here's Manning again, 8-4, as uh, Oswego Valley leads. Manning with the serve. Off the top of the net. Kept alive. Good job by Smith. And now Nap Greeley in the middle. Hit over by Dunn. And Dunn will get the kill in the middle for Clary and Limestone. Boy, I'll tell you what. A lot of odd hits in that series. But it finally worked for Dunn. Yeah, that was a wacky carom off the top of the net there off the serve. Here's Smith. Sir. Ball set up to the middle, big swing, it's blocked, kept alive, put back over the net that time, and in! Beggs will get the kill on the right side, not sure how, but it's 8-6. Here's Smith. Good serve, that's going to go long, and it's now 9-6. Service error for Clarion Limestone. Serving here is Enti. Done with the dig. Smith sets it up. Pushed over by Greeley. Dug from the back line by Manning. Up front, big swing on the left side. Shooting that over was uh, West that time. The big hit by Beggs again on the right side. Beggs has been good again. 9-7. And she'll get to serve. In for Oswego Valley, the libero is Sophia Comenda. And Beggs serving for Clarion Limestone. Serve, dug out by Manning. Comes up front. Ball going to be hit over by Perkins. Smith to the middle. Greeley has it blocked. Pushes it up. Burke fighting there. Ball back up front. Big swing this time. And the kill for Cook. Olivia Cook gets the kill for Oswego Valley. And it makes it 10-7. Wow. That was a big swing. I'll tell yeah. you that. Back to serve is uh, Eva West. And it goes long. Point goes to Clarion Limestone on the service here. It's 10-8. Opening set here at Clarion Limestone tonight. Glad you could be along with us here on the EYT Media Network. Here's Greeley serving for the Lady Lions. Ball dug out by Manning, set up to the middle, big swing again. That was by Cook, but uh, the dig by Beggs, and now here we go. It's done on the attack. 
That was Perkins, comes back up front. Perkins again is going to put up the big hit. Smith is going to set it to the middle to Greeley. And now Dunn has to keep it alive and can't get it over. It'll be four hits against Clarion Limestone, 11-8 here. Oswego Valley. Back to serve is a Cook. Fight it to net. Put over by Burke. And the ball hit hard by Perkins. Here's CL on the attack. Dunn. And Dunn finds the middle of the court, and it's 11 9. Dunn with the kill. Nap Greeley now set to serve here for the Lady Lions, the Clarion Limestone. Here's Nap Greeley. Dug out by Cook. Ball set to the middle. And the big swing that time and a kill on the left side is a McKenna Manning. 12-9. I'll tell you what, the green wave is able to attack on both sides. They're real good on the back line. This is a this is a team that's very formidable. Yeah, it seems like their attacks are coming from everywhere on the court. They sure do. Here's Miller Geiger with the serve. Dug by Beggs, comes up to Smith. Here's uh, Dunn, nope, and uh, have to be hit over by Wyant. Ball set over by Miller Geiger to, uh, that was Perkins on the attack, but Perkins is going to hit it long. It's 12-10. Dunn now ready to serve. Served by Dunn. Dunn comes up front, and in the middle, ball is going to be hit into the net that time by Cook in the middle. Or no, that was Manning, excuse me, in the middle. 12-11, Clarion Limestone back within one. They've trailed by as many as four. Here's the serve by Dunn. Dug out by Perkins, set up to the middle. Ball tipped over the net, and Manning's going to get the easy kill that time to make it 13-11. Back to serve is uh, Praylin Perkins. Good serve by Perkins. Boy, that is so hard to play, and Burke's going to get it over the net. Burke will get a kill as he just puts it over the net. But that serve, the movement on it for CL to kind of fight that off and get the points, amazing there. 13-12. Wyant is serving. Here's Wyant. All dug out. Up to the front, that's Miller Geis, or Geiger setting it up. Here's uh, Beggs on the attack. He's got to go over here and does. Good job that time by uh, West. Ball at the middle, hit by Greeley, and it goes long. 14-12. Clarion Limestone gets back within one, but it, they've been unable to get this tied back up. Oh, they're going to say it is. It must have been tipped. So there's going to be 13-13. Fred even has to change. He was all sold out on that one, too. Yep, I got lost. 13-13 is where we're at. Wyatt serving. Ball dug out. Set up into the middle. The ball's going to be hit long that time by Lake and Enti. Clarion Limestone. Green Wave thought it might have been tipped with the official right on top of it. There says no. Here's Wyatt now serving from the left side. Good serve. Set up by Miller Geiger to the middle. That was tipped over the net that time by West. Kept alive by Clarion Limestone. Put over by Smith. Dug out by Miller Geiger. Big swing that time by Enti. Here's uh, Dunn pushing it to the back. Perkins was there with the intercept. The ball hit over the net, but they're going to call it out. But behind that uh, little spindly thing that goes up for the out of bounds, and it's 15-13, Clarion Limestone by two. Wyatt serving. Served by Wyatt, dug out by Manning. Set up here with the big swing by Manning. And coming up there is Beggs. 
Good job by Perkins to send it up front and over the net. Manning did a nice job there. Here's Smith in the middle, sending it up to Greeley. Greeley pushes it over. Perkins there with the intercept, comes back across. Ball blocked at the line. How about that block on that right side by Smith? 16-13, and the timeout will be taken by Emily wolf Sullinger, the coach here for Oswego Valley. And we'll hold here as well again, here with 16-13, Clevering and Limestone. Boy, this has been a match that's gone back and forth. Lady Lions trailed by as many as four. They come back to take the three-point advantage. We've seen Clarion Limestone, too, tonight. Not as many mistakes offensively. It's pretty good. No, they've been pretty clean tonight, and their plays look overall better than the last few matches they've been in. We'll see how that pans out here in set number one. I have an update here. This is 2A Volleyball. Okay. Seems like... Um, Montauk is up 15-11 over Punksy right now. All right. Just extended it to 16-11. All so. right. 16-11, Montauk leading Punksy. And here at 16-13, as Clary and Limestone leads against Oswego Valley. Oswego Valley's controlled most of this match so far. They've done well. Clarion's CL's been on the run right now. Wyant is serving. And here we go. Lady Lions by three here in set number one. Good serve. And the service error. Boy, we would set it. Probably jinxed them. 16-14. So it's a two-point advantage here for Clemmery and Limestone. Back to serve is McKenna Manning. Served by Manning. Bags. And boy, Beggs, when she went for that dig, the, the dig was really low. Nothing Smith could do there, 16-15. Boy, well, I really like their serve. They're, all of these girls, that ball is like a lot of movement on it. Now Greeley with the dig, Smith sets it to the middle. Greeley on the attack, and Greeley gets the kill in the middle. It's 17-15, clearing a limestone. Smith now to serve, uh, Kaylee Smith. Dug out by Perkins. Miller Geiger sets it up and the ball hit out of bounds. That was uh, Olivia Cook on the attack, but it's out of bounds, 18-15, Clary and Limestone. Smith, a couple dribbles there of the volleyball. That got by Perkins. And the big swing block comes back over on the Oswego side. And going to be sent over by Cook. Temp Greeley to Dunn. And Dunn's going to get the kill. Hit it oddly over the net, but gets the kill. CL now by four. Lady Lions. Starting to pull away here. Perkins with the dig into the middle. Big swing that time by Manning. Ball set up. On the backside, Banks hits it into the net that time. It doesn't make it over. It's 19-16. Serving here is uh, Lakin Enti. And he serve is into the net. Service error on the other side. It gives Clarion Limestone their 20th point. I always look at it in terms of how much you need to get to 25 for CL. It's five, and it's nine on the other side. So it kind of shows you the amount of mistakes you can make and how good you got to be to come back. Ball dug out. Set up to the middle. Big swing that time. Dug by Beggs. Smith sets it up. And that ball it's, doesn't make it over the net. Into the net, CL gives the point here to Oswego Valley. So serving is uh, Eva West. Set up to Dunn. Dunn on the attack. Dunn, good job to keep that alive. And a kill in the middle. Perkins gets the kill. Cook did a great job to keep that alive, too, for Oswego Valley. And it's back to two points here. It's 20 to 18. West serving.
Ball set up. Burke. Burke had the block, but it hits it out of bounds. And it's 20 to 19. Oswego Valley back within one. Just like that, the difference is gone. Here we go. One point advantage here for the Lady Lions. The Green Wave attacking. Serve. Good dig by Nap Greeley. Ball set up to Dunn. Dunn. It's blocked. Kept alive. Dunn pushes it right back over. Good job by her. That's Miller Geiger setting it up. And the little dump in and a nice job that time by Perkins. And we're tied at 20. Great move by Perkins. You've seen so far that Oswego Valley has some hard hitters, but then they mix in some of those light taps, and it just gets, gets CL off guard. All set up to Dunn. Here's Dunn. Sends it over. That's Perkins with the dig. Into the middle. Big swing block. And the Lady Lions get the point in the middle. Greeley is going to get the uh, block and the kill for Clarion Limestone. 21-20. It's a game of runs. It's a game of momentum. Here's Greeley to serve. Batty Greeley, the junior. Swing by Greeley. To the back line. It was a cook with the dig and then sent over the net by Perkins. On the attack is done. Dig from the back line. Miller Geiger setting it up. And then Lighty Lions will get the, the win there. It's not going to make it over the net that time. We'll call the carry actually on uh, Oswego Valley. 22-20 Clarion Limestone. Here's uh, Greeley serving. Good serve by Greeley just off the top of that net. Ball set up. Ball tipped over. Kept alive here by Smith. Dunn puts it up on the attack. That was Greeley setting it up for Dunn, and Dunn's going to get the kill that time. They both have the same hairstyle and the same style of player, but they get it done 23-20. So here we go. Lady Lions need two here. Greeley serving. Served by Greeley. He's going to hit it long. 23-21. That's a service error. So this uh, set nip and tuck back to serve is Olivia Cook. Cook is a senior. Dunn up to Smith. Comes back over. Dunn puts it over the net. And it goes long, 23-22. What a match between these two so far in this first set. Olivia Cook serving. Doug, big swing there by Dunn, and it is in. Dunn gets the kill from the left side. 24-22, set point now for Clarion Limestone. Knapp Greeley back to serve. So here we go, Nap Greeley. Set point here for the Lady Lions. You'll hear the crowd get excited about this one. Here's the serve by Nap Greeley. Dug out, set up. Perkins puts it over, block. Perkins kept it alive. Good job by Perkins. Babs back up front, hit over the net that time by Miller Geiger. Smith putting it up and over by Wyatt. And Wyatt somehow found the empty right side. And the Lady Lions win set number one, 25 to 22 over Oswego Valley. We go to set number two. We'll take about a two-minute timeout. You're watching Gatesman's Auto Body District 9 Volleyball Semifinal right here on Explore Clarion at D9Sports.com. Clarion Forest VNA believes the emotional and physical well-being of a patient is enhanced by the patient receiving care in the familiar surroundings of home. Their staff of caring professionals work closely with physicians to administer quality care to meet the needs of each individual. As a pioneer in home health care in Clarion and Forest County, Clarion Forest VNA continue to grow to meet the community's need for in-home care, offering many different services and programs to meet the patient's need. Clarion Forest VNA, located at 271 Perk. Road in Clarion. Call us toll free at 1 800 262 2118. Dewbrook, a division of MB Group, is your trusted local ready mix supplier for residential and commercial projects. Dewbrook provides a full line of decorative concrete as well as concrete supplies, along with a variety of concrete tools and accessories. Dewbrook can provide services large or small for residential and commercial projects to contractors or homeowners. 
Dubrook is here to provide you with options and ideas to make planning your next project simple. Let Dubrook help you with the supplies you need to get the job done. Dubrook is proud to support our local communities with plants in Clarion, Du Bois, St. Mary's, Butler, Evan City, Bradford, and Meadville. Call 1-844-382-7665. With so much to protect each day, Eric Schick Insurance and Financial Services is here to help you find the right coverage that fits your life. Call 814-275-2210 to learn more. You're listening to the EYT Media Network. All right, back here at Clarion Limestone. It is Mike Kalinowski, Long Brad English, Chase Diamond all here tonight. It is Gatesman's Auto Body District 9 Volleyball here on the EYT Media Network in Clarion Limestone, winning set number one by the score of 25 to 22. Go to set number two. The Lady Lions will be serving here. Well, I'll tell you what. You don't see them take the whole time out like this usually. They're usually, ah, this is serious stuff. Yeah, they're getting ready. I would like to say, though, that from what I've seen from CL so far this season, that seemed like one of their most complete sets overall. Just very little mistakes that hurt them and very good offensive decisions and playing well on defense as well. I would have to agree with you on that one. They certainly did look good in that one. We'll see if they can continue it here. They've had to fight back a couple of times. Wyatt will get things started here for the Lady Lions in set number two. But Oswego shows you why they are the defending champion too. They are good. Said that to Port Allegheny when we left. A few of the folks thanked us for streaming and I said, you know, your girls have nothing to hang their heads about. That is a tough volleyball team you have at Port Allegheny, and they were kind of they were smiling. I said eh, that's a, that's a fun team to watch. Yeah, they played very well. They played very well overall. Letting some fans come on in here. They're all dressed up. We got a ranch dressing and a cow coming in. There How about go. that? Wyatt set to serve. Clary Limestone leads it one nothing. Winner. Plays on Thursday against County or Elk County Catholic. Served by Wyatt. It is dug out by Perkins. Set up and on the attack. Kept alive there. Boy, West was on the kill. And in the middle, Greeley's going to get it for Clarion Limestone on the block. It's 1 0. Here's Wyatt's ready to serve again. Served by Wyant, dug out by Perkins, comes up to Miller Geiger. Perkins is going to put it over the net. Smith in the middle. Greeley pushes it over. Good dig that time by Miller Geiger. Big swing in the middle, and how about that kill from that uh, back line area? I believe that was, uh, that was, it was Olivia Cook. One and seven on that jersey looked the same, and they're very similar players back to serve those. McKenna Manning, number one. One, one, we're tied. Here's Manning serving, sends it over. That's dig by Begg. Smith sets to the middle, pushed over. And finding inside the back line is Greeley again. 2-1. She's done that a few times. Does a nice job. Yeah, very good. That's a, a move that Tyler Oaks teaches to all of his uh, volleyball students. And here's Smith now, ready to go. Here's the serve by Smith. Smith going to send it out of bounds, though, 2-1. Was the score. Now we're tied at two apiece. Chase Steinman's one of those trainees of Tyler Oaks. He's tried to train him on a lot of things, but Chase, you know, he puts up a fight, though. Yeah, Chase has done good. Here's Miller Geiger, and Miller Geiger's serve is going to go out of bounds. So the serve goes out, and it's 3-2 here. Beggs ready to serve here for Clarion Limestone. Here's a serve by Beggs. Intercepted there by Cook. And put over the net by Miller Geiger. Nav Greeley done, done with the tip over. Ball going to be set up here on this left side. 
Fight there at the net, and how about the kill that time by Eva, uh, Eva West. Eva West with the kill. Now she'll go back to serve. You know what Eva's middle name is? No, I don't. In the Eva in the West. Oh, you get it? That's funny. Chase tell you that one before the show? He sure did. Here's Dunn on the attack. Good intercept by Perkins. In the middle, big swing. Nap Greeley begs up front, has to go over. Dunn sends it over the net. Dug out on the back line by Manning. Big swing at the net that time by Cook, and it's blocked. And Greeley is going to have the block and the kill. 4-3, Clarion Limestone. Those blocks have been making a difference in this game so far. Sure have, and I'll tell you what. Oswayo is attacking there, but Clarion Limestone has been able to get the upper hand a few times. Here's Greeley with the serve. Dug out by Perkins. Comes right back to Perkins. Block by Burke, but the block goes out of bounds. And it's 4-4. Good job by Burke. It just came down out of bounds. Serving is Olivia Cook. Dug by Dunn. Smith. Dunn's going to put it over the net. Dig out. By Cook, big swing in the middle, and Manning is going to get the kill in the middle. McKenna Manning makes it by four here in flavor in favor of Oswego Valley. I guess flavor, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> right? Ball hits the net. Service error gives Clary and Limestone the point. We're tied here at five. Now Greeley serving. serve. Perkins with the dig. Miller Geiger over and the kill on the left side that time. That is going to be McKenna Manning. Boy, they all got those ponytails and it covers up. I wasn't sure if it was seven or one and as I said, very similar in stature those two players. Back to serve is uh, Miller Geiger. Lacey Miller Geiger. Good serve and bags. Off of her fingers and down to the court. The ace that time for Miller Geiger. 7-5 here. Oswayo. And boy, that ball just goes. We've talked about this in every match we played with Nab Greeley. She just has a knack to know when that ball is going to be out. Just where the position is of that ball with her body. And that was a time there where it paid off. Here's Dunn on the serve. Dug by Perkins. Miller Geiger setting it up to the middle. Ball tipped over and the kill on the right side. That's Wyant and uh, Smith up front, 7-7. Yeah, that last one was very close to hitting the line, but good recognition. And Dunn has it dug out here. And we're going to call the carry or two hits on... That uh, left side on Miller Geiger's 8 7 here, Clevering and Limestone. Lady Lions lead one set to none if you just joined us. Here's Dunn. Dug by Cook into the net. 9 7, Clevering and Limestone. Here's Dunn. Good serve, good dig. Uh, that's Miller Geiger setting to the back line. Cook put it over. Here's on the attack. And that is a Wyant. That's a kill for her, and it's 10 7. Boy, Wyant with the big swing that time. Yeah, even with the deflection, it has hit the back judge there. <laughs> that's right. They were going after Bobby Freeman down there. All dug out. Miller Geiger setting it up, pushed over the net that time by, I think that was uh, West. Now Beggs goes back up front, goes over the net off the top there, and how about West to Eva West getting that one? 10-8. I don't think either team thought that ball was going over. They both kind of froze there looking. Serving will be uh, Pralin Perkins. Now Greeley with the dig. Smith is going to set it on the backside. Here on the attack is Wyatt, and it is in. Found that corner. 11-8, Clarion and Limestone.
Here's Wyant on the serve. Dig comes up front, pushed over the net. Good dig by Dunn, set back up. Greeley's going to send it to the back line. That was a cook there, put over the net. Smith brings it back to the center. Beggs puts it over. Good dig that time by uh, Cook again. Fight there at the net. Smith kept it alive as Manning put it over. Here's the attack by Beggs. Good dig by Perkins. Here we are at the net. Big battle, and the kill's going to be for Eva West. And it's 11-9. Clarion Limestone's lead is two. That was some good back and forth there. It certainly was, and I'll tell you what, some great big hits. Good digs on both sides. 11-9 is where we're at. Here's the serve. Ball set up to Beggs. Beggs push it over. Dug out by Smith. Done back over to Beggs. Beggs with the big hit and the kill on that side. And I believe that's Cook in the middle that's going to get credit for the kill. Back to serve again is McKenna Manning, and it's 11-10. Manning serve. Dug by Beggs. Smith puts it up. Done on the attack in the middle. Dig by Perkins. Miller Geiger setting it up. That was West sending it over the net. West is going to get the kill again from the left side. West has been good here again for Oswayo, and it's 11 11. McKenna Manning, he's, see here, a junior serving. Done with the dig. Smith setting it up for Greeley. Good dig from the back line. It's into the net. And uh, Carey's going to be called 12-11 here. Clemmery and Limestone. Smith serving for the Lady Lions. Perkins. Miller Geiger. And put over by Perkins. Dunn's going to set it up. Comes over here to uh, Burke. Set back up and underneath the net it goes. Burke will get the kill. It's 13-11. Timeout's going to be taken here by Coach uh, Sullinger. Well, while we have the moment, we'll let folks know too if uh, we might have that championship game coming up on Thursday. Right now, Clary Limestone leads here with a one-set advantage and a two-point lead here. The crowd getting fired up. But Friday night, we're going to be up in Brockway. And uh, just right there, Chase has a good shot, too. Coach Emily uh, Sollinger talking to her team. You can see she's just directing them, good coaching, telling the girls where to be. Still a nip-and-tuck uh, set here. But Friday night we're going to be in Brockway, and uh, we'll have that match for or the uh, football game for you as Union AC Valley goes up there. What are they going to call it if they merge Union AC Valley and the Panthers? They'll have to come up with, like, a whole new name for everything. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be something... I was thinking about that today coming home. I thought maybe call them the Eastern Clarion County Wild. How about that? <laughs> That's a pretty cool name. Yeah, I thought about that because the Pennsylvania Wilds on yeah. that side. Yeah, a lot of rebranding maybe. And then for their mascot, they can just have uh, Tyler dress up in a crazy outfit and run around because he's always wild. So. Yeah, yep, that'll work. Here we go, 13-11 after the timeout. Clarion Limestone serving. They lead one set to nothing. Here's Smith. Perkins with the dig. Miller Geiger setting it up to the middle. Done with digging that out. Now the fight. And in the middle of that time, that's Cook going to get the kill. 13 12. Boy, this is a close. They've all been close. That first set, this set. Back to serve is uh, Lake and Enti. And he served, dug up by Nap Greeley. Smith. To Greeley. Perkins with the dig into the middle. And there's a whistle. They're going to call two hits here against Oswego Valley. 14-12, Lady Lion. Beggs with the serve. Good swing by Beggs. Dug out by the back line. Put it back over by Dunn. Cook puts it over, and boy, up Greeley tried. She was wanted to do that little throwdown like thing, but hit the net, and the point goes there to, excuse me, Oswego Valley here. It's 14 13.
Sir by Wolf, or that's West, excuse me. Ball up front here, Dunn puts it over, blocked, and back over. What a dig by Smith. Fight here in the middle, it's blocked, and that time the winner is going to be Cook in the middle. 14 14, we're tied. Oswego Valley's coach is very enthusiastic about their team, about her team, and just as much as the team is. I'll tell you what, she certainly is. And here we go, done on the attack. Blocked again. How about Cook in the middle getting another point here for the Green Wave, and it's 15-14. So Oswego Valley leads here by one now. Serving is Eva West. Served by West. Smith sets it to the middle. Greeley pushes it over. That is a commenda. With the dig and then hit. Good dig by Beggs. Ball comes over to Dunn. Dunn on the attack. Sends it over the net. Ball up near the net. Perkins is going to keep it alive and put over by Cook. Fight here Smith. Greeley. Greeley. And Greeley gets the kill. Put that right up into Perkins. And we're tied at 15 apiece. Has the crowd gotten bigger? Because we keep getting more and more folks moving in. This is yeah, something. Yeah, I feel like it's a full house in here. <clears throat> Greeley to serve, and service error makes it 16-15 now in favor of Oswego. Back to serve is Olivia Cook here for the Green Wave. Ball dug by Dunn. Smith setting it back up. Put over by Burke. Off the ceiling. Good job by Cook to keep that alive. Put over the net by Perkins. Smith setting it up for Dunn. Dunn on the attack. Goes off of Perkins. Commenda setting it to the middle, put over by Cook. Comes back up front. And uh, Burke's going to send that to the back line. Cook's there to intercept, set up to the middle, and Manning puts it over, but Manning's going to hit it long. And it's 16 16 for Tom. Now Greeley here with the service. Perkins is there, and they got to get it over there, and they do. Good job that time by Manning. Here's um, that was a Wyant, and now Nap Greeley puts it over the net. Set up, big swing, went off of Manning, and they're going to call the two hits here against Clarion Limestone. Green Wave here up on the Lady Lions. Set number two, Clarion Limestone up 1-0. Back to serve is Lacey, Miller, Geiger. Geiger hits it into the net for the service there, and we're tied at 17. Well, this may be a match that comes down to whoever doesn't make the mistake for that last point. Yeah, I agree. Here's Dunn. And done with the ace. Nice job that time, though, by um, Eva West. She really came up, tried to get her hand underneath there. Here's done serve again. West will get the dig this time. Put up there at the net. And the point, Clarion Limestone, 19-17, Lady Lions. Two-point advantage here for Clarion Limestone, late here in set number two. Here's Dunn. Good dig by West. Kept alive and put over the net that time by Manning. Smith is going to set it up. Here's Wyant. West with the intercept. Comes back up to the front. Perkins puts it over, and Perkins gets the kill from the left side. 19-18. Back to serve is Perkins. She got that point, now serving. Good serve. Dug out by Knapp Greeley. Smith puts it up for Wyant. Wyant dumps it in. Good dig by Perkins. Here we go on the attack again. That's West, and West will get the kill from the left side. We're all tied up again at 19 apiece. Perkins serving. That's going to go long. It's just off that back corner. Boy, it was close. <laughs> 20-19, to 19, Clarion Limestone. 
Serving here is Wyans. Wyatt with the serve. Dug by Perkins. To the middle, put over by Perkins that time. Boy, Dunn kept it alive, put it back to the middle. Burke puts it over, good work. In the middle, set up there by Geiger. Big swing that time by West. And uh, West will get the kill. How about West on that left side? We're tied at 20 again. Back and forth we go. It's going to get loud in here pretty soon. Back to serve is McKenna Manning. Manning with the serve. Done up front. Pushed over the net. Kept alive. Fight at the net. And the kill for Beggs on the left side. That was a big one, 21-20. Big fight at the net. Now Smith serving with Clarion Limestone up by one here in the second. Smith dug by Manning. Manning with the attack. Manning's attack is going to be in on the right side, 21-21. What a kill by Manning. Back to serve is uh, Lakin Enti. Enti serve. Now Greeley digs. Smith setting it up. And Greeley with the kill. 22 21, Clarion Limestone. Wow. Serving here is Beggs. Dug out. Miller Geiger setting it up and over the net that time by Cook. And Beggs is going to hit it into the net. We're tied at 22. Back to serve is uh, Eva West. 22 22. Dunn. Smith comes back over to Dunn. Dunn on the attack. Dunn. That's going to be dug up by Commenda. Up front. Big swing that time. Blocked and the Lady Lions get that block on the right side. Greeley and Burke were over there. 23-22. Here's Greeley now serving. Lady Lions won the first set 25-22. We'll see if they can do that again. But boy, Oswell right there. They are tough. Here we go. Here's Greeley. Dug by Perkins. And back over the net. Good job, Cook. Staying uh, alert. Here's Dunn on the attack. Dunn's going to send that to the back line. Up front, Perkins is going to set it to the middle. And Miller Geiger puts it over. Smith to the middle. Burke on the attack. It is blocked, but here we go. Oswego Valley is going to have that block, but the kill is going to go to Cook, and we are tied at 23. Good job by Olivia Cook in the middle there for the green wave. Cook has had her way up there at the front of the net. Done a fantastic job, and Cook's going to be the one serving here, tied at 23. Dug by Beggs. Smith sets it up to Dunn. Dunn on the attack. Dunn. And pushed over there by Perkins. Good job by Perkins. Smith is going to set up Dunn again. Dunn on the attack again. Block, but it falls in. And Dunn gets the kill. Set point now for Clarion Limestone. 24-23. Knapp Greeley to serve. Here's Knapp Greeley. Putting it over. Miller Geiger in the middle. Perkins on the attack. Dug out by Beggs up front. And the ball tipped over, but they're going to call the two hits here against Clarion Limestone. We're tied at 24. Got a win by two. Back to serve is Lacey. Miller, Geiger. Miller Geiger puts it in. Now Greeley up front. Smith setting it to Wyant. Somehow kept alive. they got to get it over on that hit, and they're not going to be able to do so. And now Oswego Valley leads it here, 25-24. Here's the serve coming up from Lacey, Miller-Geiger. And a timeout will be taken by Coach Brian Trout for Clarion Limestone. We'll talk it over here. In that first set, Clarion Limestone won at 25-22, but right now a 25-24 lead, and again, if Oswego can get the point, they'll win it because you do have to win by two here, even though they're 25. Yep. 
this set's been exciting. Back and forth action the whole way through. It's been through. a lot of fun. I'll tell you what. The fans have certainly got their money's worth. Seems like there's even some Oswego Valley fans from the school. A lot. I'll tell you, it's been well, well, section. Yeah, well attended for coming a long way, too. Have you heard anything about the other side of the bracket for single A? I haven't, and I was trying to look here, and I just haven't seen anything, but uh, see if we can get some of our folks out there on it for us. Cowder Sport in. Elk County Catholic doing battle. The winner of this one will take on the winner of that one in the championship in District 9. <clears throat> then we move on to the states. Just the top two move on, two in the states. Oswego Valley fans on their feet now. They sure are. Here we go. They lead by one, serving is Miller Geiger. Service or uh, set point. Smith sending it up to the middle. Ball tipped over the tie. And the point that time by Wyatt. We're tied at 25. Wow. Very smart play. Done serving. Dug out. Good dig that time. Ball set up into the middle on the attack. That's Nap Greeley. And it hits the ceiling and in. That kill is going to be given credit to Manning in the middle. 26-25, Oswego Valley, set point again for Oswego. And taking the time out here, Coach Trump will take his last time out. He used one, you just get a couple. He's uh, keeping it loose down there with these girls, he knows. All fans must be seated while the game is being played. All fans must be seated while the game is being played. So they have Brad Fraser down there making sure the fans know that they need to be seated. PIAA has so many different roles, don't they? Yeah. That's what they have to go by. Seems like they grow in numbers each year, the number of roles. Well, it's because of uh, Chase. He, he <laughs> breaks those roles all the time, and yeah. so they got to make up something for it. You know, the big one was taking the shirt off. That really hurt him. Yeah, I heard about that one. So here we go, 26, 25. I, I believe Perkins is serving here. Might be a big serve for Oswego Valley. She has been good. You talked about the movement of that ball and her serve. Checking in for the Lady Lions will be Wolf. Not only does it die at the end, but it, it is just moving so fast across the court. Here's Perkins ready on the serve. Perkins, good serve. Dug by Dunn. Here's Smith. Setting it up for Beggs. Beggs sends it long and Oswego Valley gets that set. 27 to 25 over Clarion Limestone. As Oswego Valley knocks it up in one apiece. We'll take the time up. We'll pause a couple minutes back with more for you here from Clarion Limestone High School. It's Gatesman's Auto Body, District 9, Volleyball, and Explore, and explore Clarion at D9Sports.com.
to the EYT Media Network. All right, back at Clary Limestone. Boy, these teams taking a lot of time in the huddle. A lot of times you see them come out with some time left, but not the case here tonight. They're using all the time they can. Well, they'll need it. By the way, this game's been played. It's been tight the whole way through. Yeah, they want to get those players a little bit of rest. It is getting a little warm in the gym, too. Oswego Valley will be serving. 1-1, one, one, we're tied. Here comes the green wave. McKenna Manning will get the serve here for Oswego Valley. Score here, ot ot. Ot, ot. Make uh, Mike Kilroy happy. Yep. Manning serve. It's into the net. Service there to start things off. The Lady Lions lead it one nothing. What's uh, he up to tonight? I don't know. Decided not to come again. Yep, I think so. Here's Wyatt on the serve here for the Lady Lions. There's up to there up front. And they're going to call the carry. Or they can say into the net. Someone was into the net that time for Oswego. Two ought here the score as Clemmering and Limestone and Oswego are knotted up in one apiece. Here's Wyant. Dug off in the back line by Cook into the middle. Sent over the net that time. Good dig. And Dunn's going to put it back over. Here's uh, West on the attack. And West is going to get the kill. Nice job set to West. And... She'll get that kill. It's 2 1. Serving is Lake and Enti for the green wave. Here's Enti. Serve. Dug by Dunn. Wyant pushes it up to Beggs. Beggs dumps it over. Beggs pushes it back. That ball was dug out well by West, but it went over the net. Beggs got another chance and made it count. It's 3 1. Smith serving here for Clemmering and Limestone. Good serve by Smith. Just over the net that time. Miller Geiger to the middle. Big swing. And it goes off of a lady line player. And Cook's going to get the kill in the middle that time for Oswego Valley. Three to two. Just underway here in set number three. It is Gatesman's Auto Body District 9 Volleyball here on the EYT Media Network. Back to serve, Olivia Cook. Dug by Dunn, Smith back over. Dunn's going to put it over the net, and Dunn's going to send it long. We're tied at three. So 3-3, three, three. West. Good dig by Knapp Greeley, Smith over to Burke. Burke has it blocked. And it is in. That block comes down in on that right side. Cook was over there. Miller Geiger was over there. 4 3 here, Oswego Valley. West with the serve. Dug by Gre Nap Greeley. To the middle. Greeley or sends it over. Greeley will get the kill in the middle. Maddie Greeley with that kill. 4 4 we're tied. I didn't know mas masks were allowed in here. They're not. Chase never took his off. Oh. Brad Frazier will be on him on that next break. Here's uh, Beggs. Good serve by Beggs just over the net. Set up. Here's Perkins on the attack. It's blocked. Good dig that time by a Cook. Back over to Perkins. And Perkins doesn't make it back over the net that time. And the Lady Lions get the point. 5-4 Lady Lions. It is Halloween night. Anything can happen, right? Here's Beggs with the serve. Dug by Manning. And Perkins is going to hit it wide on the attack. 6-4 Lady Lions as they take the lead here in set number three.
Beggs on the serve. Dug by Manning up front. Big swing block kept alive. And that kill in the middle is going to go to Cook. Olivia Cook makes it 6-5 on the kill there for Oswayo. Cook serving. Dunn. And the kill by Dunn from the left side. 7-5, Lady Lions. Greeley to serve. Greeley's a junior, middle blocker, middle hitter. Served by Greeley. And how about that? An ace for Greeley. Came down. Little miscommunication there. Comenda was there, but I think she thought that West was going to take it. 8 5, Lady Lions. It happens. That ball was close to the line, too. Yeah. Here's Greeley. Dug out by Perkins. Geiger setting it up. Big swing, and Greeley will intercept up to Dunn. Dunn pushes it over. Perkins with the dig. Pushed over the net, and they're going to call Clarion Limestone into the net. Yep, that time. So 8-6. And serving here is Lacey Miller-Geiger. Miller-Geiger serving. Dunn, Smith, Burke on the big swing and gets the kill. They needed that from Burke that time, and they're going to get it. It's 9-6. Matt Greeley to serve. Seen their libero, and it goes long. 9-7. So errors on either side here, helping out a little bit. And it is Praylin Perkins to serve. All set. Here's Dunn on the attack. Dunn with the big swing. It goes off of Perkins at the point. Dunn with the kill. 10-7 here, Lady Line. We have a big update there, Mike. ECC with a sweep over Cowdersport. Oh, wow. So they won the 3-0. Yep, 3-0. So the winner of this one will take on Elk County Catholic. They won 3-0 over Cowdersport. Ball dug out up front to the middle. Big swing. It goes over by NT, and it is in. NT gets the kill. 10-8. So we get that good update. All we have to do is ask. You put out a little text, and things happen. Manning serving. Dug by Knapp Greeley. Smith over to Beggs. Beggs puts it over the net. Dug out by Cook into the middle. Big swing block. And that is a point. Cook with the kill. And the point goes to Oswego Valley. It's 10-9. Manning. With the serve here. Really with, not really with the dig to the middle. She'll send it back over. Miller Geiger setting it up. West on the attack. It's blocked. Kept alive. Put back over. Good job by Clarion Limestone Smith. Miller Geiger back to the middle. The big swing comes back over. Then a good dig by Burke. Coming back is West. And West, they're going to call Clarion Limestone into the net that time. And they are tied at 10. Lots Ten. of scrambling there. Yes, it certainly was. And great hits, too. To keep her alive, 10-10. Kenna Manning serving. Here's Manning. Puts it over. Smith to the middle. And how about Wyatt getting the kill? 11-10, Clarion Limestone. This is going to be like this in every set. It is like these two teams are so evenly matched. Two good volleyball teams going at it here. Here's Wyatt ready to serve. Good serve by Wyatt. Dug out there by Enti. 
Pushed over by West. Burke digs. Begs on the attack. Begs has a block kept alive by Enti. To the middle to Cook. Cook dug by Dunn. Here's Begs again. Begs with the big swing. Perkins with the dig for the back line. Geiger setting it up in the middle. Ball goes out of bounds, and Cook will get a kill again, and we're tied at 11. We had some more information coming in. Okay. ECC has not lost a set in the 2023 D9 playoffs. Wow. They went 3-0. That it says over Otto Eldred. That's, that's impressive. That's not correct because Otto Eldred played Red Bank, I believe. Well, if they haven't lost one, that a kill for West again. But the impressive stat is, is they have not lost a set in the playoffs. And now Oswayo jumps up here 12-11. That's a good stat, though. Yeah, it is. Serving is Enti. Smith begs. And it's in on the back line. Beggs kicks the back line. We're tied at 12. Well, we're settling in here for an evening of volleyball. If you like it, this is your kind of a match. I'll tell you what, back and forth we go. Smith, here's Perkins up front. Miller Geiger in the middle. Cook, big attack, but sent back over by Burke. Ball pushed over. Nope, hits the net, doesn't make it. 13-12, Clarion Limestone. Lady Lions getting the point that time, and here is Smith serving. Dug by Perkins. Miller Geiger sends it. Nope, that was Cook sending it over. Dunn, Burke fight there. Burke kept it alive, tipped over by Greeley, and Greeley will get the kill. Boy, that was, we've seen some really wild hitting here this last couple volleys. 14-12, Clarion Limestone here on the timeout. Again, this is Gatesman's Auto Body District 9 Volleyball. It's a semifinal. Already we know Elk County Catholic knocked off Countersport 3 to nothing. So the winner of this one will take on Elk County Catholic coming up on Thursday. Boy, I'll tell you, you can still go either way here. Boy, these teams going right at it. That information we were told was correct because... Red Bank Valley lost to Otto Eldred in the very first round. Elk County Catholic had a bye the first round. All right, so there you go. So Elk then knocking off Otto and then moving on. So they will have the winner of this game tonight. Yes. Well, that, that should be a heck of a final, too. So here we go, the timeout taken. Coach uh, Solinger for Oswego using the timeout. And Smith is ready to serve here for Clarion Lime. So 14-12 Lady Lions were all tied up in one. Dug by Perkins. Miller Geiger in the middle, blocked in the middle. The point goes to Clarion Limestone. How about Greeley in the middle getting the kill that time for the Lady Lions, 15-12. Haley Smith with the serve. Dug out by Kamenda, and it goes out of bounds. 16-12. That is the biggest lead I think either team has enjoyed in this uh, set. I'd have to say so. Yeah, with four points. It has been close all the way. I believe that's the biggest lead since 20-16. to CL was up in the first set. That, that very well could be, too. Ball up front here to Smith in the middle. Greeley won the attack. Dug out by Perkins. Geiger setting it up. And it's going to go long. They're going to call the tip, though. The point goes to uh, Oswego Valley. It was tipped. 16-13. Back to serve is uh, Eva West. Smith. Burke, big swing by Burke, and Burke finds the back line, 17-13. Burke has really performed when they've needed her. Here's Beggs. Sir by Beggs, just off that net. That's one of those ones. 
Not a whole lot. Lacey Miller-Geiger, boy, she tried, but it freezes you. It's yeah. hard to make a play. 18-13. Dug out by Manning. Pushed over by Perkins. Ball then sent over. Good job by, um, uh, that was uh, really in the middle and then hit over the point here. Goes to uh, Oswego Valley, 18-14. Good serve by Cook. Big swing by Greeley, and it's out. 18-15. Some other news coming in now. Um, Monata is up 2-0 over Punksy in sets. Okay. So that uh, match here is done on the attack. And Dunn's going to get the kill for the left side, 19-15. So Monata leading Punksy. A lot of good information coming our way. Those Aqua Motors updates coming fast and furious. Here's uh, Greeley on the serve. So Geiger sends it over. Ball put over. Fight at the net. Miller Geiger kept it alive up front. Here's Manning dumping it over, and Manning's going to get the kill in the middle. It's in 1960. Boy, Manning, nice job. Miller Geiger to serve. Serve. Begs up to Smith. Here's Dunn on the attack. And Dunn with the kill. 20 to 16. Clarion and Limestone here back up by four in this set. Snap Greeley to serve. Dig by West. Back into the middle, and the kill in the middle that time by McKenna Manning. Good attack by her in the kill, 20 to 17. Perkins set to serve, Praylin Perkins. Work with the dig, and an ace that time by Perkins, 20 to 18. Just when you have a team get up, here comes the next team back, and this time it's Oswego within two. Very true. Perkins serving. Goes off of Beggs. And oh boy, it came off oddly off two of Beggs off of that uh, hoop in the middle, and it's 20 to 19. Another ace for Perkins. Time out taken by Brian Trout here for Clarion Limestone. We'll talk things over as they lead by one. Again, let you know, El County Catholic knocked off Countersport 3 to nothing to move into the championship match on Thursday night. The winner here will take on El County Catholic. That'll be at a site to be determined. I would imagine that would probably be over in the Dubois area. Yeah, if I had to guess, it'd be about there. I know they played a bunch of them. So we will see. Have folks, you know, with questions asking. They yep. want to know what's going on. That's right. That's what we're here for. Well, it, Chase is here for other reasons, but he likes just, money and everything else. Yeah, but. I was just about to say, maybe we should start sending them over to Chase because he's <laughs> like the know-all type of guy. He sure is. 20 to 19. A little bit of a run here for Oswego Valley, bringing it back to within one. So here they come, Perkins ready to serve. She has been good. Here's Perkins with the uh, serve. They trail by one to Zosueo. Dug by Beggs. Smith setting it up to Dunn. Dunn on the attack. The dig from the back line by Cook and then up West puts it in. West will get the kill from the left side. It's 20-20. Boy, West has been very good from that left side too. For Oswego. Here's Perkins. 
Smith to Dunn. Dug by Miller Geiger. Comes back up front. Boy, ball sent over there by Cook. Wyant on the attack. Good dig from back line there. Miller Geiger and almost miss hit that time by Enti, but gets it over the net. Here's Dunn putting it back over. Miller Geiger to the middle. Ball dumped over and the kill in the middle by Manning. 21 20, Oswego Valley. Now it comes down to you can't make mistakes. Perkins dug by Nap Greeley. Miller or Smith sent over by Wyant. Miller Geiger, Enti puts it back over. Here's a Smith setting it up this time to Wyant. Wyant fighting for it. Puts it back over. Great job by Wyant. Not even looking. Ball is set to the middle. Cook on the attack. And Cook's going to get the kill in the middle that time for Oswego. They lead 22 to 20. Oswego now looks to go up two sets to one as they lead by two. Do you think Matt Dar was a bowler back in his day? I think so. He's pretty good. That form looked pretty nice. And an ace that time by Perkins. 23-20, Oswego. Coach Trout will take his last time out here as he his team trails here 23-20. to So he's talking him over. He's just keeping him loose down there, going around, doing the fist bump. Recap real quick for you. Clarion Limestone won set number one, 25-22. They won, and then um, Oswego Valley won the second, 27-25. And right now by three here, Oswego leads Clarion Limestone. Sports coming up here later this week, uh, possibly the championship match on Thursday. And then on Friday night, we've got uh, football coming to you from Brockway, Pennsylvania. Red Bank has a bye, as well as Clarion both. Yep. Then Clarion, of course, will be playing in the championship the following week in Double A, either Brookville or Carn City. We'll have that uh, football game for you. And then, uh, of course, whatever happens in Single A. So here we go. Perkins continuing to serve. Three-point advantage here for Oswego Valley. Dug out by Knapp Greeley off the front of the net. Sent over by Wyatt. Good job by Clarion Limestone. Miller Geiger setting it up to the middle. Sent over the net. Here's uh, Dunn on the attack. Has it blocked. Comes back out. Knapp Greeley comes back up front. Dunn puts it back over. Good dig that time from the back line. That by Cook. And they're going to call two hits, though, after that here on Oswego Valley. It's 23-21. Momentum may have changed because of that one. It very well could have. Here we go. As Dunn is serving. Dunn puts it over the net. Miller Geiger setting it up. Big swing in the middle that time by Cook. Dug out by Beggs, but it goes out of bounds. 24-21. It's set point now for Oswego Valley. And their fans are going to be excited on that other side of the gymnasium here. Serving is Manning. Good serve by Manning, dug by Beggs. Smith is going to set it on the backside to Wyan. Wyan has it tipped, and Wyan will get the kill. 24 22. The Lions, though, have to play error free here to have a chance. 24 22. Wyan has been exceptional, though, serving tonight. Sure has. He's been very good. And here we go with Wyan. Wyant serves, dug by Cook, up to the middle, and how about that in the middle? Cook with the kill, 25 to 22. As Oswego Valley tucks off Clarion Limestone in set number two, 2-1. Two, Oswego Valley will take a timeout. You're watching Gatesman's Auto Body District 9 Volleyball Semifinal right here on ExploreClarionD9Sports.com. One of the biggest risks to your future could be running out of money during a longer than expected retirement. Many people have not yet taken the time to determine if they will have enough assets to last throughout retirement. Our Retirement Income Evaluator can help you develop a roadmap and actual recommendations. 
To learn more, stop by our office located at 162 South 2nd Avenue in Clarion. Give us a call at 223-9990 or visit JennyClarion.com. Jenny Montgomery Scott, LLC, member NYSE, FINRA, and SIP. You can afford a gorgeous, custom-designed hardwood Kales kitchen for a lot less than you'd pay at a DIY store. Go to FactoryDirectKitchens.net. At Kales, there are never middleman markups or hidden charges that can add 40%. Go to FactoryDirectKitchens.net. That's FactoryDirectKitchens.net. Central Pennsylvania, people are losing their glasses. Well, they haven't really lost them. They just don't need them anymore. Thanks to the amazing LASIK surgeons at Laurel Eye Clinic. Call Laurel Eye Clinic and schedule your free consultation. All right, back here at Clarion Limestone, we just had Brad Frazier down there. Today, he's Terry Bradshaw, though, winner of four Super Bowls with the Steelers. Uh, but he just announced that uh, Kaylee Smith, as a sophomore, just had her 1,000th set that is amazing congratulations to her and here we're, what what uh Monica's up two sets to one four set to started 1000 assists as a sophomore that's crazy she may be setting some kind of district records or state records yeah on that. that's crazy here it is 2-1 uh, in favor of Oswego Valley. Oswego Valley has really come on strong. Lady Lions won that first set, but it's been Oswego Valley 27-25 and 25-22 in the last two. <coughs> Fans haven't gone anywhere. I'll tell you what, they are into this. The winner moves on to the championship against El County Catholic. Serving will be Wyant. You eating more of those uh, Luton's Wild Cherry over there? I hear that rapper going. You're gonna. Then he throws them at me. I don't know where he, anyone ever, whoever would have started that. Yeah, I wonder who. Wyant set to serve here for the Lady Lions. They need to get this one to send it to a fifth set. I think Chase is scheming over there. Well, he's always scheming about something. Here we go. Wyatt dug out. Set up to the middle. Big swing. Put over the net that time by NT. And this time it's tipped by Clarion Limestone. The point's going to go. Point will go to uh, Oswego Valley. Be the official right on top of it. Fans saw it go out, but it was tipped. Back to serve is Manning. Dug by Wyatt, kept alive by Smith, and then put over. Good job that time by Greeley. There's uh, Perkins, comes up front. Put over by Wolf here by Oswego Valley. Smith setting it. And the swing by Greeley. Manning up front. Perkins on the attack. Perkins hits it into the net. We're tied to one apiece. Not shocked. Winning that last set, though, might is crucial for Oswego Valley. It gives them momentum starting this one and see where it takes them. Miller Geiger and going to call her for the two hits there. 2-1 Clarion Limestone. Early on here in set number four. All set to the middle. Tipped. Good dig that time by Beggs. And hit into the net by Dunn. 2-2 two, two or tie. Back to serve will be Lakin Enti. Enti serve and line violation. Line violation on the serve. 3-2 to two, Clarion Limestone. You don't see that very often. <coughs>
Here's Beggs. Serve dug out by Commenda. Up front and pushed over the net. The kill by Cook in the middle. Nice set by Miller Geiger to Cook, and it is 3 3. We're tied. If Oswego wins this set, they will go on to take on L County Catholic on Thursday. Larry Limestone can come back to win this. We go to a set five. West dug by Nap Greeley. Set up here to Dunn. Dunn puts it over. And Dunn's going to get it. Nice kill by Dunn. Commenda waited just a second. Boy, it looked like it might come down out, but it was just in that line. Four to three, Lady Lions. And they had to go find the ball. And here we go. Serving is Greeley. They got put up front. Here's Perkins on the attack. Begs the dig. Smith put over by Dunn. In the middle there is uh, Cook. Perkins on the attack. It's tipped. Beggs, it's got to go over here, and they get it over. Commenda with the dig, and it goes out of bounds, though. 5-3, Clarion Limestone. Really ready to serve. Good serve by Greeley. Dug in the middle. And the big swing that time by Cook. Kept alive here by Clarion Limestone. And done. It's right up into the net. Point goes to uh, Oswego Valley. Boy, that big swing that time by Cook. She's good. And she'll go back to serve. <clears throat> Cook. Smith setting it up to Dunn. Blocked there at the net. Beggs keeps it up front. Dunn sends it over. Commenda with the dig. And how about that kill for Manning? Nice job by Manning on the kill, and we're tied at 5. 5-5. Five, five. Manning's been a little quiet recently, but she pulled that one out of nowhere and really surprised that CL defense. Well, just off the top of the net, Nab Greeley with the dig. Dunn puts it over. Ball up front. Here's Perkins on the attack, and it is out. Point goes to Clarion Limestone, 6-5. Lady Lions here, set number four. CL trails 2-1. to one. Not really. The serve. Dug by Wolf. Set up Perkins, puts it over, and Perkins shot. And they're going to call it out. Well, I don't know. That was close, but right there. That door right on top of it. It is out 7 5. Good call. Well, dumped in. In the middle, Perkins. And they're going to call two hits on Oswego Valley. 8 5, Lady Lions. Nab Greeley with the serve. Miller Geiger. Big swing block, kept alive. Nice job that time by Manning. Manning goes going to send it long. Lady Lions now jump up by four. It's 9-5. Nab Greeley sends it long, though. Service error makes it 9-6. Burke checks back in here for the Lady Lions. Back to serve is... Lacey Miller-Geiger. Work with the dig. Smith puts it to the middle. Good block. Beggs keeps it up. Done. Nice dig that time by Perkins. Then <laughs> Lady Lion point. I wasn't sure if it made it back over by Perkins that time or not. It's 10-6. Lady Lions by four. Timeout's going to be taken here by Emily uh, Solinger for uh, Mosueo Valley. Emily Solinger, the head coach. Naomi Cook is one of the assistant coaches. 
team two, they only have, what, one, two, three, four, five seniors. The, a lot of those players, uh, sophomores, they got a freshman out there too. Juniors on that team. Checking everything here. If there's any other updates, Brad, I know went right to the phone. I was just going to see what Oswego Valley's path has looked like, and it seems that they've only lost one set to Dubois Central Catholic in the first round of the playoffs. So they're very good. And this being Clarion Limestone's second game, they've only lost one set to Port Allegheny yep. last game. So here we go, Dunn getting set to serve. Served by Dunn. Up front, tipped over the net by Manning. Fight there at the net. Well said, has to, I was just gonna say, had to go over, it's kind of blocked by a fan walking in. And it falls in for the Clarion Limestone point. It's 11-6, five point advantage. That's been big. We haven't seen much more than that in either any of these sets. Here's Dunn with the serve, just off the top of the net. Perkins with the dig, Miller Geiger. Puts it up there. Manning puts it over the net. And we're going to get a carry here called against Clarion Limestone. Or two hits, I guess they'll call it this time. 11-7. Perkins set to serve. Perkins, got to watch. She's good back there. That's where Oswego made their big run last time. Dunn digs it out up front. Put over by Wyant. And that's not going to make it back over the net that time. 11-8. Oswego back within three. Here's Perkins, dug by Beggs. It's back to Beggs. It's blocked. Nice job that time by Andy to keep it going here for Oswego Valley, but it ends up into the net. We're not a whole lot Wolf, or excuse me, West could do with it. 12-8 here, Lady Lions. Beggs, or excuse me, that's Wyant to serve. Wyant serve. Good dig that time by up west and then put over the net. Up front. Fight there. And Smith is going to get a rare kill for Smith. 13-8 here, Lady Lions. Five-point lead again for Clemson Limestone. We're in set number four, two to one. Oswego Valley leads. Wyatt serve. Dug by Cook, set up here, and on the attack was Manning. Smith to the middle, big swing that time by Greeley. Good dig on the back line by Cook. Here's West on the attack. Dig by Beggs goes over the net. Miller Geiger to the middle, tipped over, and Manning's going to win that one that time, and it's 13-9. Manning will go back to serve. Served by Manning. Dug by Beggs. Smith to the middle to Greeley. Beggs brings it back, and it's not going to make it this time, and the point will go to Oswego Valley. Yeah, just whenever you think one of the teams got the momentum and is going on a big <laughs> run, and it, the, the momentum shifts all of a sudden, just like what's happened right now. Yep, it keeps going back and forth, and here's Manning on the serve. Three-point lead for Clary Limestone. Manning dug by Beggs. Can they get it over the net? Beggs does. Great shot. In the middle. Big swing. Blocked. Ball kept alive and sent over there by West. In the That's Beggs. And it's going to go off of Miller Geiger. 14-10. Clarion Limestone by four. Here's Smith serving now. And the serve by Smith is out, 14-11. <laughs> you knew no one's going to run away with it. Yep. And back to serve, Lake and Enti. Served by Enti. Now Greeley with the dig. Dunn's going to put it over. Just off the top of the net, Dunn's going to get the kill. 
Off the top of that net, 15-11. Now Begg serving. Here's Beggs. Serve. Dug up front. Miller. Geiger tried to get it set, but it's going to be hit into the net. 16-11. Back to five here for Clarion Limestone. Boy, if this goes to a fifth, it's going to be rock and rolling in here. Here's Beggs. Dug by Commenda. And the big swing by. That was uh, Manning. Here's Burke on the attack. Has a block. Greeley keeps it alive. Fight there at the net. Comes back over. Begs with the dig. Back over to uh, Dunn in the middle. Big swing by Cook. And Cook's going to get the kill that time. Boy, has Cook been good in the middle. And it's 16-12. And that's into the net. Eva West. Five-point lead now for Clarion Limestone. Greeley to serve. Greeley with the serve. Puts it over. Dug out by Manning. And they're going to call a... Perry that time or two hits. They're going to call the two hits here against Oswego. It's 18 to 12. Six points. I think that is the biggest lead any teams enjoy, either teams enjoyed. I think there might have been one other time, but that's it. Really? Dug out by Perkins. Miller Geiger back to Perkins. Begs with the dig. Smith set it up to the middle. Wyatt on the attack. West now Commanda to the middle. Hook puts it over. And the ball hit over the net. Smith on the back side. Pooched over by Wyant, and Wyant's going to get the kill, 19-12. Lady Lions by seven. Timeout will be taken by Oswego Valley. Seven-point lead for the Lady Lions, and that gets the crowd standing up and cheering here at Clarion Limestone. And it is Halloween night. I figured you and Chase would want to be out trick-or-treating or something. Don't you guys still do that? Chase does, I think. I think he, his mom had to force him to come here. I would, th he, and that could very well could be the case because I know Chase, right after Halloween, shows up with all this candy and stuff. And <clears throat> but it, I figured you did too, though. I mean, don't college kids still go out and do that stuff they used to in Clarion? I don't know if they do or not. <laughs> So here we go, the timeout. Larry Limestone will be the first back on to the court. Seven-point lead here for the Lady Lions. Serving is Maddie Greeley. And it's a 2-1 lead for Oswego Valley, but right now the Lady Lions leading in this fourth. Greeley serve. Uh, Miller Geiger sends it over to Perkins, has it blocked. Nice job to keep it alive by Cook. Hit back again by Perkins. Smith over to Dunn. Dunn puts it in. Dug up by Manning. Into the middle. Big swing that time by Cook. 19-13. Boy, when she winds up. I know I would not want to be on the other end of that. Oh, no. Cook serving. Smith to Burke. Burke, and yep, that's going to be a point. Burke's going to get the kill. That was going to be a hard one to bring back over. Burke gets the point, 20-13, to 13, Clarion Limestone. Lady Lions trying to send this to a fifth and deciding set. Nab Greeley with the serve. Perkins with the dig. Miller Geiger setting it up. Ball blocked by Manning. And the point goes to Clarion Limestone. Manning's block went out of bounds. 21-13, Lady Lions. Now 
And Greeley dug by Commenda. Pushed over by Perkins, up Smith. Smith, Wyan has it blocked. Dunn's there. Now back to Dunn, Dunn puts it in. And how about another kill? That time it's Perkins getting the big kill. 21-14. Back to serve is uh, Lacey Miller-Geiger. Served by Miller-Geiger, and that's a point. Eight for Miller-Geiger. 21-15. Miller Geiger ready with the serve. Dick by Dunn. Smith puts it over. Miller Geiger intercepts in the middle. And that is going to go off. Cook's going to get a kill in the middle. It's 21 to 16. Miller Geiger continues to serve here. Five point lead for the Lady Lions. Three point run here for Oswego. Beggs, Smith, Dunn, hits it into the net, 21-17. How about this run here? Timeout, too. Yeah, you're going to see that timeout because a four-point lead now. So uh, Brian Trapp will take the timeout. And of course, already tonight, Elk County Catholic, a winner over Calder Sport. They won that match 3 to nothing. Bonitaw wins in the fourth. They beat Punxsutawney 3-1. So 26-24, Monotaw knocking off Punxy. Jake Bauer keeping us updated there on the score. Lots of stuff, fast and furious. Coming in here, scores and all kinds of stuff. The lead was up to eight there, I believe, for CL over Oswego Valley at one uh -huh. point. Brought it back, back to within four. It is. You can not let up your guard against this Oswego team. They were able to knock off Clarion in three straight. Here they lead 2-1, and now they're down by four here in set number four. Miller Geiger with the serve. They got by Nab Greeley. Smith puts it back to the middle. Wyant. Can't get it back over the net. It's now 21-18. Oswego Valley with a nice run here. 5-0 run to make it a three-point uh, set. Another Geiger. Dug by Beggs. Smith to the middle. Tipped over that time by Wyatt. Another Geiger is going to set it up for Perkins. Perkins, it's blocked, but it goes out of bounds. 21-19. What do you think the words from Oswego Valley's coach to their team was in that timeout? Do you think it was just keep playing your game? Keep I think so. doing what you've been doing? Yeah, I think just relax. You, you know, this is a team they know what to do. Ball comes in. Beggs digs it. Smith sets it up for Dunn. Dunn pushes it over. Dug from the back line by Cook. Manning. Manning in the middle with the kill. 21-20. Oswego Valley back within one. Wow. And there's the serve. Smith is going to set it up. Dunn gets it over the net. Dug out by Cook. Miller Geiger over to Perkins. Perkins dug out by Beggs. Smith to the middle. Wyant. Ball comes back up front. Ball's going to be put over by Perkins, but it goes out of bounds. 22-20, Clarion Limestone. There for a second, Oswego Valley's fans were going crazy, and <laughs> now and CL's fans were dead silent. Here's Dunn. Dig from the back line, Miller-Geiger, Manning. Dug by Smith, Nap Greeley. Beggs has it over the net. It's kept alive here by um, Oswego. Smith to the middle. 
Wyatt gets the kill in the middle, 23-20, Clarion Limestone. The Lady Lions a couple points away from sending this to a fifth set. Here's Dunn. Dug by Cook. Perkins on the attack. Dunn, Smith, middle, Wyatt blocked. Point, Oswayo, 23-21. I was just about to say, right about now is going to be when Perkins comes up to serve and Cook is on the front line making some big plays for Oswego Valley. Here's Perkins serve, and it goes oh. wide. That's unusual. Perkins has been so good from the service area, but 24-21 set point now for Clarion Limestone. Serving is Beggs, the freshman. Or no, excuse me, that's Wyant out there. Alyssa Wyant, the senior. Here's Wyant with the serve. Pick up by Cook. Perkins sends it up front. Put over the net by West. And how about Smith getting another kill, 25-21. Clarion Limestone. We're going to go to set number five. We'll go to 15. Who will move on in the championship? Coming up on Thursday, we're going to find out. We'll take a two-minute timeout. Back with more after this. Gatesman's Auto Body District 9 Volleyball is right here on Explore Clearing at D9Sports.com. I chose NPRC because it was great to have a local affordable option here in Northwestern Pennsylvania. I live in this community and I wanted to stay in this community. Learn more at discovernprc.org. Oaks Building Supply is dedicated to providing quality building products to the community. You will always find what you need for your home improvement project and get great advice on how to do the job at Oaks Building Supply. Customer satisfaction is a top priority. Oaks Building Supply, for all your building and lumber supply needs. Located on Route 66 in Lucinda. What college is seen as and how college works is changing. Students are concerned with debt. Through scholarships and grants, I didn't pay anything last year. They even paid for my books. You, you, can't, you can't beat it. Like, why, why would I say no to that? You're listening to the EYT Media Network. All right, back here at Clarion Limestone, we go to set number five. Who will take on Elk County Catholic in that championship match coming up on Thursday? We're going to find out. We're all nodded at two here at Clarion Limestone. Glad you could be with us here on the EYT Media Network. Mike Kalinowski, Brett English, and Chase Steinman here tonight. Boy, fantastic job by the whole crew as always. You guys outshine me every single night with all the stuff you guys do. You do a fantastic job. Without those pictures and how you run that computer over there, wouldn't happen, and I don't know how to do it. So, <laughs> I've you, learned a lot in my first year here. <laughs> you've done well. As long as you don't, you always learn. You don't listen to Chase <laughs> or Dustin Kiefer. Yeah, as you say, Dustin Kiefer is one of the worst. Here we go. The crowds on both sides are all fired up here at Clarion Limestone. You know, I think this is the first time one of these teams has been out of the break before the timers went off. I think so, too. I think these players are ready to go. Getting ready to serve will be Oswego Valley. The Greenways, McKenna Manning will get things started. Chase over there can barely hold in his excitement. Now Greeley will check in. And here we go. There's a man and gets ready. Here we go. Set number five. We're all tied at two. Winner moves on to the championship coming up on Thursday night. Manning serve. 
Dug by Beggs up to Smith. Smith setting it up over to Dunn. Dunn with a big attack. And Miller Geiger to Perkins. Good attack by Perkins. Good dig by Beggs on the other side. Here's Dunn. Dug out by Manning. Miller Geiger to the middle. Cook's going to put it over. And they're going to call the two hits here on Clarion Limestone. One ought our score here in the championship, or at least the semifinal, with set number five. Manning serve again. Dug by Beggs. To the middle, Wyant. Good dig. And West. West gets the back corner. Two nothing. Tell you what, Emily uh, uh, Sollinger, the coach here for Oswego, really animated with her players, having a fun time. Here's the serve, dug out, it comes back up front. Smith to Dunn on the attack, dug out by Perkins to the middle. Cook, and it is just out off the back of the line, two to one. Dunn serving. There's the dig, fight at the net, pushed right back over by Beggs for the kill. We're tied at two. Done. Dig by Perkins. And hit into the net that time by Cook. Three to two, Lady Lions. Here's done. Into the net service error. We're tied at three. Wow. Three three back to serve for Oswego Valley is Lake and NT. Dig by Beggs up to Smith. Smith's gonna set that to Wyant. Wyant. And it's in on that right side, right in the line. Four to three, Clarion Limestone. And we only go to 15, every point, so important. Looked like Perkins got sucked up a little bit there and then got B on the backside. Here's Wyatt now serving for the Lady Lions. Hugged by Manning, comes back up front. And how about Cook with the kill? We're tied at four. Boy, I'll tell you what, Cook up front, West has been good up front. Manning, Perkins for the Sosueo team. There's a serve by West. Smith with the dig, Beggs on the attack. Dug out by Manning, comes back up front. Here's Perkins, and the block, and the point's gonna fall in for the Lady Lions. I know you're talking about Oswego Valley, but you also gotta mention CL too. Yep. Uh, Jenna Don and Greeley and Nap Greeley, all all these players, even Burke, has been crucial at certain points in the game. Very much so. When they've needed it, Burke's come through. Ball to the middle. Big swing blocked again. Ball comes back over the net. Smith's there. Now Greeley back up to Burke. Burke with the big swing. Burke's going to get the kill. 6-4. Clarion Limestone. They lead by two. Here's Smith. Perkins, fight at the net, and that point is going to go to Oswego Valley, 6-5. As that battle at the net. Olivia Cook back to serve here for the Green Wave. Good serve, dug out by Knapp Greeley, comes up here to Smith, Smith to the middle, and Greeley with the kill. Going up for the block that time was McKenna Manning. It's going to go off of her. 7-5, Lady Lions. Here's Banks. Dug by Cook. Miller Geiger sends it over to Manning. Smith setting it up to the middle. Beggs will put it over the net. Comenda comes up front. And Miller Geiger, then now Smith setting it over to Dunn. Dunn to the back line. Cook 
Miller Geiger to the middle. Manning dumps it over. Good dig by Beggs. Puts it back over the net. Here's the set over to Perkins. It's blocked there. But uh, Burke tried to keep it alive there after she got the block, but uh, the kill is going to be recorded there for Perkins, 7-6. Back to serve, Lacey Miller-Geiger. Hit into the net service error, 8-6. Now serving is Greeley for the Lady Lions. Served by Greeley. Dug by Cook. Miller Geiger setting it up over to NT. Smith to Dunn. Dunn to the back line to Cook. Miller Geiger over to Perkins. Perkins dumps it in. But the point's going to go into the net. They're going to call Clarion Limestone. 8-7. Uh-oh. Look who's serving. Yep. It's that time. Here's Perkins. Nice dig by Begg. Smith to Dunn. And Dunn with the kill. That's big to get that serve away from Perkins. 9-7. Ball hit right on the line. Here's Nap Greeley. Just over the net. Ball hit over by West. And Dunn on the attack blocked. Knapp Greeley keeps it alive. Put over by Greeley. Big by Cook. Miller Geiger. Back and forth we go. Manning's going to get the kill this time. Manning found the back of it open. 9 8. Now serving is McKenna Manning. 9 8. Manning dug out by Dunn. Smith back over to Dunn. Here's Dunn on the attack. Perkins is there. Push back. Perkins got to get it over and does. Good job by Oswayo. Smith on the attack. Put it over. West. Now Smith for CL. And Wyant gets the kill for the Lady Lions on the right side. 10-8 here. Clarion Limestone. Timeout will be taken. Emily Sollinger, the coach. For the Green Wave, we'll use the timeout. Larry and Lyons stood up here 10-8. We're in set number five. We go to 15. He's, of course, going to win by two. Winner goes on to take on Elk County Catholic. That'll be on Thursday night at a neutral site. Uh, we'll find out where we're going to be at. And as I said, usually with Elk playing and uh, from up north and then a team from this area, uh, they have played a lot of those games over at Dubois High School. Just depends. Just depends on what's available, I would think. So that is not set in stone. That'd be quite a trip for Oswego Valley, wouldn't it? Nah, maybe not quite. Well, if it would be Oswego and Elk, I think you would see it change. I, th I should have said if CL would win, I think that's where you would see it. If Oswego and Elk might be some more up, more northerly. Yeah, maybe like Kane. Could maybe be. Could be. Yeah. <clears throat> could very well be. Here we go. But we got more of a match to go here. We're in set number five. Here's a done. Dug out by Perkins. Miller Geiger in the middle. Cook on the attack. Burke with the dig. Smith setting it up to Beggs. Beggs right over, but the kill on the right side. 10-9. And looking over there. West was over there. I know Cook was over there, too. Oswayo getting the serve. They trail by one. Lake and Enti serving. And a timeout taken by Coach Trout this time. So both of the coaches using timeouts here. You can tell how, of course, every point is so important, and no one has really run away with anything. Lady Lions had the biggest leads we saw in that last set, but it's kind of even right back out again. Even there towards the end of that last set, it came back very close. Yep. However, CL did go on a run there at the end, go up 25-21. 
Again, Friday night, uh, football coming your way. We'll be up at Brockway High School as the Union AC Valley will take on Brockway in the opening round of the District 9 single-A playoffs. You mentioned it too, Red Bank Valley with a bye. Following week, Clarion Central Clarion will be in the championship against either Carn City or Brookville. We'll have that football game for you too in a two weeks. But here we go, 10-9 here. Boy, the crowd into this one. Here we go as NT gets ready to serve for the uh, Green Wave. Beggs with the dig. Smith goes right back to Beggs. Beggs on the attack. Doug out comes over the net. Got to go over here. Beggs hits it into the net that time, and we are tied at 10. Tied up at 10. That dig out from Oswego Valley sent the ball back over to Seattle's side, and the dig out from them just caused a lot of confusion, a lot of havoc. It ended up right in the middle of a bunch of players. And Yep. Here's Enti. Nav Greeley with the dig. Smith sets it up to Beggs. Beggs on the attack. Good. Good dig by... Manning that time, but it's up into the net. The Lady Lions get the point here. It's 11-10. Kill that time by Beggs. Beggs is serving. Or excuse me, that's Wyatt. I always get those two confused. Same here, dude. In the middle. Big swing into the net that time. 12-10, Clarion Limestone. That was Manning on the attack for the middle. Wyatt serving. Good dig. And the big swing. And I'll tell you what, Olivia Cook was not going to be denied that time. When she gets that set perfectly and she winds that arm up, you know it's coming. 12-11. West serving, Eva West. Ball to the middle. Greeley has it blocked, but CL keeps it to moving here. Here's Beggs, hits it into the net that time. We're tied at 12. Boy, this match could go on for a while now. 12-12. Here's West back to serve. Off the top of the net. And over by Nap Greeley. Set again. Perkins. Perkins with the kill on the left side, and now Oswego Valley leads at 13-12. What a big hit that time by Perkins. Another timeout by CL. Like. Brian Trout very wisely here, too. And again, he's just talking to the girls, and I'm sure the same thing that they were saying on the other side. You see the Oswego uh, bench over there as they're talking things over up on the court, but, you know, nothing to get crazy about. It's no. the one-point lead. Still two points for Oswego Valley to win, but Seals in this game. They've been in this game the whole time, yep. so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> and you know, if anyone thinks the next couple points are just going to be, it, they're they're beside themselves because this is this will be interesting. Yeah, it has been the whole way. These two teams have played very very well against each other. Lady Lions won the first set, 25-22. Oswego Valley won the next two, 27-25, 25-22. Lady Lions won the fourth, 25-21, and it's 13-12 here. In set number five. Wow, listen to this crowd getting fired up. Yeah, I don't know if there's been a better game this playoffs or, or if the championship game will be even better than this because this has been quite the game. Here's West serving now for Oswego Valley. Good serve. Dug by Dunn. Not really to Beggs. Beggs puts it over. Comenda setting it up front. Big swing that time. Good dig by Nap Greeley. Tipped over the net. And the kill is it. Yes, it is. Smith with that quick move, and we're tied at 13. We said it was going to be interesting. Don't go away. Here's Smith now to serve. Smith. Dug by Perkins. Perkins is going to put it back over the net. Now Greeley up front to Smith. Smith sets it to the middle. And a kill by Greeley. Match point now for clearing and limestone up 
One point away for the Lady Lions to go to the championship on Thursday against Elk County. Back to serve is Smith. Smith just over the net, dug out, up front, and there it is! Banks with the last kill, 15-13. Clarion Limestone will go to the championship against Elk County Catholic. What a match tonight. Three to two, Clarion Limestone. Coach Trout, you can see him give that sigh of relief. Players shaking hands. What a match between these two tonight. Unbelievable. All you can say is wow. It's just an excellent game. It sure was. And we'll go back and recap quickly for you. The Lady Lions won the first one 25-22. Then Oswego Valley won the next two 27-25, 25-22. CL won the fourth 25-21. And the Lady Lions with that kill by Beggs 15-13 as the Lady Lions knock off Oswego Valley to go to the championship Thursday night. We'll let you know where it's at. We will be there for you as they will take on Elk County Catholic. Well, Mr. English, great job tonight, as always. Thank you. You and Chase. You, you too. Fantastic job. That'll wrap things up here from Clarion Limestone. Don't forget Thursday night, we're back in action from a site to be determined as Clarion Limestone and Elk County Catholic will vie for the District 9 Volleyball Championship. On Friday night, we've got football coming your way from Brockway as it will be.